Everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for today's preview: Bulls versus Sharks. The URC continues this weekend before it takes its break for the Autumn Nation Series, and a lot of Springboks in action this weekend, and, and very hotly contested two Springbok squads announced a Springbok squad obviously a Slavka A squad a lot of the players still be involved this weekend and a lot of debate about players that should have been included that shouldn't have been included and, and I think that this weekend we're going to see some of those players who weren't and were included playing against each other coming up against each other and I think that's going to add a little bit of extra spice to specifically like a clash like this um, it starts at three o'clock on Sunday afternoon but Sunday rugby at Loftus first fault and uh, two very strong sides being named despite the, the some of the, the bigger box not being available for the the sharks the likes of a pimpy sierra kavisi bongi manambi um oxen chair for example but as i said still two very uh, very good sides before you look at the two teams please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well sharks currently sitting in seventh place not quite where they'd like to be they did have their game postponed last week so if they had one again they'd obviously be a bit further up potentially um but i think i agree that we have only seen two probably performances which are sort of up to standard up to scratch for the sharks but if we look at them this is how the bulls will uh line up now very interesting to see um, a couple of big names involved despite the fact that they were called up into the uh the spring box squad so if we look at the bulls uh, lineup in the in front program we've got Claire come bismarck duplessis and francois klopper um two in fact all the, the entire reserve bench for the bulls being named in the saa squad so that's very good for them to be able to bring on um, then you've got Wallstein come and Ruan Nokia in the in the locks there. Ruan Nokia getting a nod for the SAA side. I think Wallstein comes pretty criminally underrated. And I'm very interested to see when he'll take the next sort of big step up. Um, Marcel Garcia was left out of both squads. It does seem like his his international career is at an end. Um, and it's difficult to see a way back given the fact that there were 54 players who have been named for the end of your series and he was not one of them. Um, he is about to go on sabbatical. This will be his last game for the Bulls until the end of the Japanese season. So it's a bit of a farewell for Mark. Mask was here for a while, but Markup and Star and Escom is back and firing in all cylinders. It took a while for him to get going, but was very impressive last weekend. And um, he has been rewarded with a recall to the box. He was never really dropped, he was mostly injured and was playing very good rugby for the box just before that. Uh, he is back within the box setup. And uh, WJ Stinkham gets an opportunity to start um, with the, the injured Albert Lowe unavailable um, for the end of year tour for the box, as well as obviously then the Bulls. Zach Berger will partner Chris Smith. Jan Hussen will start, but at full back. No Kurt Lee who is gone directly into the Springbok squad. Spring Corsi, however, who has been named in the squad, does start, um, as does Cornel Hendricks, who's a part of the SAA squad. Health Force, David Creel, completes the rest of what is a very good Bulls backline. Uh, SAA players in Jan Hendrik Vessel, St. Pierre Mantanzima, and Mornay Smith are on the bench. Janko Swana, Paul Ruan for Mark, the other two replacement forwards. Imbro, Sapir, Trevino, Jacobs, and Wandesia Similani completing what is a a bench with a lot of uh, power and a lot of X factor and likes of uh, Similarne, for example. We went for Mark's nice player and a very good front row. In terms of the Sharks team that they are facing, this is how they will be lining up and missing a lot of their big names. However, a very big name that does get his first start and his debut for the Sharks is Francois Fenter, who will start at outside center this weekend next to Ben Tapawai. In the front row, it's Tukonsunu, Karen from Fuhr, and Thomas Toy. Thomas Toy starting. And captain the side, despite being named in the Springbok squad. Basically, it looks like the players who are not going to be starting against Ireland next week are available for their URC teams. Um, Instukunzunu has been named in the SAA squad. The two locks, no even Etzebeth. So, really, uh, Kabrad Kobler gets an opportunity in the number four jersey. He is next to Hiran Andrews. Dylan Richardson, no international rating for him this, 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 this end of year tour. He has not been called to the, to the Scottish side. Uh, he's next to Vincent Tuka, Pepsi Boot Lazy. Vincent Tuka not available or, or sort of eligible to play for the box, but Pepsi Boot Lazy being called into the SAA squad. No Jaden Hendricks uh, means that uh, Cameron Wright does start. Uh, Buddha Chamberlain starts 10. Tucker Abrams, Werner Cock, Upper Lefassi, the back three. Ben Tapuai and Francois Fenter in the midfield, as we said. Off the bench, it's Dan Yuster, Dion Bluller, Carly Sari, Justin Bassan, James Fenter, Sukum was a Noche, Grant Williams, and Minus Portkita. Noche and Williams both named in the SAA squad. I personally think Sukum was a Noche is a little bit lucky to be in that squad, um, but he'll have an opportunity to sort of silence the doubters, me included maybe, this weekend. And I don't doubt him as a player, I just doubt whether he is the best option that we can take to that in the SAS squad. I do think there are players playing better rugby and maybe more suited to the box setup right now than not who's really struggling to find game time. Coming off the bench, being very extreme player as an impact player. Um, it should be a fantastic clash though. It is at Loftus. It is at altitude. It'll be interesting to see how the Sharks manage it. I'm very keen to see how Francois Fenter goes. I think between Francois Fenter, Pentapawai, and Ryan Janssen for Rensburg, the Sharks' scenes are pretty stacked. 
and then we're going to have to sort of very much keep each other on their toes. Uh, let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. You can also win a free bet with this game. Courtesy of Bet Codes. Check out the, the description as well, how you can do that. And we will see you guys over the weekend for a lot of watch-alongs as the Autumn Nation Series does kick off. Australia versus Scotland is the first match of the Autumn Nation Series. We've also got New Zealand versus the Japan uh, in the friendly taking place tomorrow morning. Um, or this morning, rather. Um, so, yeah, please just smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll chat to you all soon.